surface anatomy of the head neck part b following topic are discussed in this video surface anatomy of the thyroid gland you know thyroid gland has two lobes connected by isthmus now surface anatomy of the isthmus first point the laryngeal prominence second point jugular notch third point the point in between first and second point isthmus is 1.2 cm transversely as well as vertically so draw a two line above and below the third point upper pole first point the lateral end of the upper border of the isthmus second point anterior margin of the sternocleidomastoid at the level of laryngeal prominence third point lateral end of the lower border of the isthmus fourth point 1.25 cm below from the first point fifth point 2.5 cm lateral from the previous point join all this point by curve line and this is the lobe of the thyroid gland and this is the isthmus of the thyroid gland these are the related question asked in surface anatomy exam what type of gland it is it is a endocrine gland it has no duct its secretion pass through capillary what are the parts of the gland parenchyma or glandular portion and stroma connective tissue the glandular portion contain thyroid follicle histology of the thyroid gland thyroid follicle are present the wall of the follicle is formed by the simple cuboidal epithelium also known as the follicular cell and there is a also another type of cell parafollicular cell and within the follicle colloid are present which contain secretion of the thyroid gland Follicular cells secrete T3, T4. Parafollicular cells secrete calcitonin. Parenchyma develop from endoderm, and stroma develop from mesoderm. The parafollicular cell is developed from neural crest from ultimo branchial body. Surface anatomy of the parotid gland. first point 1.25 cm from the summit of the tragus this is the masseter muscle second point a little above the center of the masseter muscle third point below and behind the angle of the mandible fourth point tip of the mustard process joint first second third and fourth point Join first point with the fourth point by carp line below the ear. Parotid duct first point, second point, the mid point between ala of the nose and upper margin of the upper lip. Join this line, and middle third of this line is the parotid duct. Related question. it is a exocrine gland it has duct it is pure serous in nature two portion parenchyma and stroma the relation of the parotid gland at the apex cervical branch of facial nerve and anterior posterior division of the rectum mandibular vein from the base the temporal branch of the facial nerve the superficial temporal vessels and the auriculo temporal nerve structure emerges along the anterior border zygomatic branch transverse facial artery upper buccal branch of facial nerve parotid duct 
lower buccal branch of facial nerve, marginal mandibular branch of facial nerve, <coughs> structure emerging along the posterior border, posterior auricular nerve and posterior auricular artery. Structure passing through the parotid gland from superficial to deep, the facial nerve, rectomandibular vein and external carotid artery. This is transfer facial artery, maxillary artery and posterior auricular artery. These branches of the external carotid artery also present within the parotid gland. Histologically, we find seracesini and duct. Parenchyma ectodermal in origin, stoma mesodermal in origin. Opening of the parotid duct at the vestibule of the mouth opposite the crown of the second molar teeth. So, th this is all about surface anatomy of the head neck part B. If you like this video, please press the like button and please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.